Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Accounts Payable Tutorial 2018. My name is Matt Holquist and uh, I'm with the QuickBooks University. And so what I want to do in this video is walk you through accounts payable in QuickBooks Online. Okay. So first of all, um, it all starts with the vendors. Okay. So if you go up to the expenses over here, you're going to see vendors. And, you know, you don't have to go through on the front end and add all your vendors. Okay. You can add them on the fly when you're entering a bill. All right. But the first step is you've got to add your vendors. Okay. Now this is pretty straightforward. And in this video, what I want to do is show you more about the proper way to enter the bill and then some reports uh, to show you, you know, what your accounts payable are as well as how to pay the bill. All right, so I'm not going to go through the vendor setup. It's pretty straightforward. You just hit new vendor and you enter their information. Okay. All right. So the first thing to properly track accounts payable in QuickBooks online is when you get your bills, you're going to have to enter your bills. Um, I do have other videos on properly entering, entering bills. So definitely go check those out. But if we go to the quick create menu, you're going to see here vendors bill. All right. All right, so this is going to bring up the screen here where we're going to we're going to first of all let's say that you you know you get this bill via email or in the mail or whatever um, it's just an online bill um, we're going to say first of all we're going to say okay we got to choose the vendor we're going to say it's computers by jenny okay so it brings up her vendor information and the terms okay so uh, in general what i do is if there are no terms I will put net 30. Okay. The bill date, and this is very important. You want to put the date of the bill. Okay. It will default to the current date, but we want to put the date of the bill. So we get the expense in the proper period. Okay. So let's say it was September 30th and then we want to put the account. Okay. So let's say that this was, uh, some computer repairs. Uh, let's see if we have an account in the sample company file. Here we go computer repairs. Okay. And then we'll say that this bill was 5526. All right. This is not billable. Um, and there's uh, no customer we're associating this with. And so we're going to hit down here, save and close. All right. So that gets our bill in there. All right. So let's go over to reports. And this is a QuickBooks uh, Online Plus account. So there's a few more reports than some of the other ones. All right, so let's go down here. We'll scroll down and say what you owe, okay? You've got some uh, reports here you can choose from to see what bills you owe, okay? So let's say accounts payable aging summary, okay? And now you'll see it brings up the aging summary. And we've got computers by Jenny, 5526. And when you pull up this report, you know, when you're reviewing these reports, you can click directly on computers by Jenny. It'll take you to there. You can click again. Okay. And it's going to take you to the bill. All right. So very similar to QuickBooks online. If you've used or QuickBooks desktop, if you've used that before, you can click through and drill down to this information. All right. And you've always got this link up here, back to report summary, and then back to report list. Okay. So now when you want to go pay your bills, okay, you're going to, again, hit the quick create menu and you're going to go over to pay bills. All right. So you'll see here, pay bills and, uh, you'll see computers by Jenny 5526. And this is a way that you can track all of your bills. Okay. So what you're going to do when you do pay this, you're going to choose uh, what account you're paying this out of. So if this was by credit card, you could put it there. Uh, we'll say this is out of the checking and the payment date, which will default to today's date. Check number. Okay. This is if you are not printing checks out of QuickBooks and uh, you are maybe handwriting a check or if you're doing an online banking or some sort of electronic bill pay. What I do with electronic bill pay is I will put in here EFT. Um, some people will put in debit. Um, it's really just up to you and your preference. Okay. So when you pay these bills, you're just going to check off computers by Jenny. All right. And you'll see that it's going to show your current 
bank account balance, total payment, and new account balance. Okay, so down here, if you're not printing from QuickBooks, you can just hit save and close, uh, or just save, and it'll keep you on this screen. Okay, now I wanna show you one other area, I'm not gonna record this right now, that if you go over to uh, expenses and vendors, okay, you're gonna see here that uh, you've got this, you know, whatever you wanna call this, this top bar up here, okay? When you're in the vendors section, you can click on these, okay, and it's gonna show you. So we, we have 1,658 in open bills, and you click on that, and it'll show you the open bills, okay? If you wanna look at the ones that were paid, you can look at these, uh, purchase orders, the bills that are overdue, okay? So you've got a lot of ways to track this, all right? So this is a, a simple overview of the accounts payable in QuickBooks Online. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave me a comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, of course, and uh, head on over to QuickBooks University. I'd love to, to teach you everything there is to know about QuickBooks Online. Uh, it's at qbuniversity.org where we've got some additional free videos on some pretty important things in QuickBooks Online that you need to understand and learn to be able to use it effectively, uh, as well as a full training course where when you do sign up, I personally give you support and to help you through all of your personal QuickBooks questions. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.